Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is a short video uh, to talk about uh, the, the veil uh, for Christian women, uh, because there is a lot of um, confusion on this topic, especially as it relates to um, uh, the, the veil uh, worn uh, by Muslim women. So uh, I want to address that. First of all, we have to remember that whenever Whatever God does, Satan has an imitation. And the imitation is used to uh, make people afraid of being obedient to the scripture and what it teaches. Uh, that's usually the effect of it when you have a satanic imitation. It's to confuse and mislead people. So, uh, you know, and basically, uh, the the veil uh, that women wear in Islam is intended to completely um, cover uh, the woman. And if a woman does not cover in that way, she can be severely uh, punished. Uh, and in part, this is because um, in, in that uh, belief system and in that part of the world, uh, female sexuality and, and and the, the true uh, godly uh, feminine is uh, despised. And uh, the same, uh, because this uh, religion uh, was uh, initially created uh, by uh, the Catholic Church, it has many of the same uh, problems that the Catholic Church does. So uh, in terms of the veil, if you look at uh, the way uh, nuns, uh, would address, um, which it's, it's very similar uh, to the coverings of the Islamic women. Uh, and, I, you know, I'm not speaking about people here uh, who, who are involved in this. Um, actually, people like this are in bondage, and they don't know that they're in bondage. And they deserve our prayers and our kindness and our honesty about the difference between uh, these practices and the practices of uh, true Christians. So the, the veil in Christianity is about um, respecting uh, the Father's order, which is uh, that the woman is subject unto the man, the man is subject unto Christ, Christ is subject unto the Father. And, and this in no way is meant to uh, uh, oppress anyone. As a matter of fact, it's quite the opposite. One thing that atheists are reluctant to, to admit is that men and women are biologically, mentally, and spiritually different than men. And we have strengths and weaknesses as men do. And they're different and they're complementary. So the, the wearing of a veil for a woman uh, is for her protection. Uh, because a, a woman's uh, appearance is, um, it, it can't help but be uh, alluring both to men uh, and to uh, also fallen angels. So when a woman is modest, it is for her protection. And we can see that uh, since um, the 1960s or so, when women really uh, started being um, encouraged to, to basically um, uh, act like uh, prostitutes and become actually property of the state, uh, that there has been a real degradation of women. Now, underneath that, there is another part that a lot of people fail to see, that this Antichrist system, this anti-God system, anti-scripture system, in fact hates women and wants to replace them with technology and uh, genetically altered and, and surgically altered men. Uh, Women are being replaced in this system. 
and they actually really uh, hate women. And why is that? Well, it is really rooted in satanic envy. So even uh, Satan often will manifest as uh, the goddess. And Baphomet is a transgender uh, image. And I suspect that Lucifer will be as well when the Antichrist manifests. But the reality is that when you have a man dressing up as a woman or trying to uh, alter himself to be a woman, what you have there is a caricature. It's not at all truly feminine. Uh, and if you look at these individuals, they're uh, painted almost in a clown-like way. And their sexuality is a very blatant, um, predatory sexuality. Another aspect of oppressive religions is uh, that pedophilia and uh, uh, the, the not only the complete and total slavery of women, but actually their mutilation. So a woman's genitalia will be mutilated because they so fear um, a healthy, normal woman that they fear her sexuality so much that they want to deprive her of um, experiencing that. And they claim that this makes her uh, a better wife. Uh, these uh, procedures are often done without um, pain uh, or painkillers or anesthesia of any kind on young girls. Uh, often uh, the result of this is that they have uh, serious uh, urinary tract issues uh, that are lifelong and pain and discomfort. Uh, and there, there's a lot of this that is just really uh, uh, horrible. And, and so when women who have been raised in a Western society look at that and then they see a woman uh, who is a Christian woman who is uh, being modest and uh, covering her head. Uh, they they look at that with fear and with contempt because they don't want to uh, they don't want to of course <laughs> be treated that way. And and the thing is that it's a very different thing. Uh, the Christian uh, practice of the veil in no way is intended to uh, completely obscure uh, the beauty of a woman. It's rather meant to to uh, veil her and to protect her both from sexual predators, but also to protect her from uh, being in in the world seen only as a sexual object. So what we have currently in the West is women are pretty much uh, sexual objects. When a Christian woman chooses to dress modestly, she will stick out like a sore thumb. And a lot of Muslims will mistake you for a Muslim and will approach you. Uh, and, and that's happened to me. So I'm aware that, that, um, that uh, Muslim men think that, that I'm Muslim because I'm covering my head and dressed modestly. Um, and it's really important in these times to remember that being obedient to uh, the scripture in no ways means that we are subjugating ourselves to Sharia law. Uh, that said, uh, as judgment comes to America, and in part judgment is coming to America because of her sexual sin and uh, the promiscuity of the women, uh, and their rebellion, that, you know, with God, the punishment always fits the crime. And in the past, he has used exactly uh, this same sort of thing to judge his people uh, by sending in the heathens who uh, do not know God, but will oppress and punish uh, people for their rebellion. And, and so as this is happening, when a Christian woman is covered, it may afford her some protection from uh, being raped, uh, being uh, uh, attacked, uh, as many women will be, as this nation comes into 
judgment. So, uh, and I'm not in favor of uh, rape or anything like that, and I'm not saying that uh, it's a good thing. Uh, what I am saying is that for believers to be obedient will be a blessing to them. So I hope that this uh, message helps people uh, to understand uh, some of this. And i just like to add uh, that, that when women uh, cover themselves, they are honoring Jesus Christ and being obedient uh, to the teachings found throughout Scripture, but also in the New Testament. This is not part of the Mosaic Law. We are still expected to behave ourselves modestly and uh, with a, a spirit of humility and grace, which is actually the difference between being beautiful and being sexy. So uh, that's what I have for you now, and uh, I hope to talk to you again soon. May you be blessed in Jesus' name.